Well, thank you very much. A very good Friday evening to you, everybody. Uh, certainly another winter day across the area, and we are growing used to these cold temperatures and even more snow we're talking about. We said goodbye to the lake effect snow yesterday, and we've got another system that approached the area this morning. We've got snow showers out around the area here this evening, and that pattern continues. And we've got the chance of more lake effect snow here in the forecast. We've got more cold air this weekend. Those temperatures remaining well below average. Believe it or not, our average high up around freezing. We haven't seen that in a while. And well, well and I don't want to hear the term polar vortex anymore, and I'm sure you don't either. But yeah, I've got it on the next map. This is the weather pattern, and it's going to continue over the next week, week and a half or so. We've got a jet stream going way up into Alaska, and it's just kind of stuck there. There's nothing really moving it. Because of that, you've got the ridge out west and the trough out east, so the air comes directly out of Canada. And along that, we've got these weather systems. We call them Alberta Clippers because they originate in Alberta. And we are now today with the system passing through on number 10 over the last two weeks now of clipper systems that have raced through. I have uh, never seen this many in a row, and it looks like we may have three or four more going through next week. Just these quick bursts of snow, the winds turn off the lake, and we get a little lake effect behind it, and that pattern will continue. All right, temperatures first. Let's talk this because this is going to be really the big weather story over the next couple days as it does get much chillier. You can see overnight tonight your lows near zero down towards Demont Lake Village and Rensselaer. A little bit warmer with some lake effect cloud cover and snow showers around the northern tier counties, but all in all chilly if you're waking up around 6 a.m. tomorrow. But hey, if you choose to sleep in until noon, you're still dealing with chilly temperatures. High temperatures tomorrow only in the low teens at best. A few of you may remain in single digits as well. But the other story going to be the snowfall. We said goodbye, as I said, to all that heavy lake effect snow. Official totals coming in well over two feet of snow, areas of Lake County, so we don't need any more. Everyone else saw some lighter amounts, but this one spreading snow across the area today. We're watching this evening. We got a few pockets of some heavier snow outside as this Arctic front pushes through. And behind it, you can see overnight tonight, we keep snow in the forecast as the lake effect machine going to get going again. You've got the high pressure well to the west, the low pressure heading to our east, that squeeze play on with the winds coming directly out of the north. So we're keeping an eye on Lake, mainly Porter and Laporte counties overnight tonight into tomorrow. We could pick up some more lake effect snow. And then eventually tomorrow afternoon, this one winds down a lot quicker than the one of a couple days ago. So still some flurries in the forecast tomorrow evening. But we could pick up again some more accumulating snow in the lake effect areas before this system winds down. And then this storm going to have a history here of uh, producing more snow on the east coast. We've got a low pressure heading up that direction in blizzard conditions just off the east coast areas of Maine near uh, Augusta. Bangor getting that as well. Uh, and certainly a rough pattern out there. And of course the Super Bowl going on in New Jersey in about a week and a half. And Everyone's wondering, hey, it's outdoor this year, so uh, how's weather going to play a role on that? And if it's anything like the last couple weeks, it's going to be interesting. All right, Friday, Saturday night, we've got another clipper to talk about. More winds across the lake. We'll have to watch for some snow showers and squalls. I think the majority of the lake effect this weekend, though, stays mainly LaPorte County on towards Michigan as the wind's going to turn a little bit more westerly. And then Arctic air surging back in this weekend. You've seen these maps all too much here across the area this winter. Overnight tonight, few snow showers still around. Some of those heavier especially near the lakeshore. We'll keep an eye on that areas of blowing snow as well. Zero to eight cold degrees. Tomorrow, still some lake effect snow showers pushing off to the east, uh, eventually ending by evening. It'll be blustery and cold tomorrow, eight to 14 degrees. There's your seven-day forecast. Hey, I put a dry day in there. Friday, I think we'll just have increasing clouds across the area and highs near 20. We warm up Saturday, but then that temperature dropping on Saturday. It'll be in the teens by evening with more lake effect snow possible Saturday night on into Sunday. And then the snow chances continue about every 24 hours after that through next week.